Hello, I am Lars with Arex Hooks. An important part of uh, any dry fly imitation is its profile. And I'll show you how to tie this uh, caddis imitation, which uh, gives uh, quite a nice uh, profile by using these pre printed uh, caddis wings from Pro Sport Fisher. They come in sheets like these, pre-printed, white, so you can dye them yourself in more or less any color you like. I am going to tie this one with a brown wing. So I, I begin by dyeing the wing with a waterproof marker. And of course, remember to, to dye both the overside and the underside. And I'll just leave that to dry while I begin the fly. And I'm tying this one on an Airex FW501 in size 16. And these uh, caddis wing come in several different sizes, so you can match the hatch. Start with uh, putting on the tying thread. Remove the waist and just move the thread back to where the bend begins. I'm using a fly right uh, for this one. You can use uh, any type of dry fly dubbing you like or whatever you have. And um, when you begin dubbing the fly, remember that uh, caddis do have uh, fairly fat bodies, so you don't have to be too shy with the dubbing. Try to dub an even body moving forwards. And now I really want the, the body to end at this point, but I'm going to keep the dubbing moving forward. And the reason for that is if I were to tie down uh, this wing at the bare hook shank, just in front of where the body ends, it'll end up uh, sticking upwards like this instead of backwards or horizontally backwards. So what I do is I move the thread back to where I want to, the body to end, and I'm then going to tie in the wing on top of the dubbing. I've removed the wing from the sheet, and as you can see, I've missed a few spots. So I'll just grab my marker and rectify that if you want to be really Precise, you can also make sure that the edges are dyed. Not that I think any trout or grayling for that matter would care. Now you need to fold the wing. I usually just hold it by the tip and then start moving my fingers backwards, trying to fold it exactly in the middle. Give it a, a good squeeze so you make a sharp, perfect crease. And you can see there's just a little bit of the tag left from where the, the wing attaches to the sheet. And that's it. Now I simply grab the wing and the caddis wings uh, come quite a bit further uh, past the end of the body. So I place it where I think it fits there and now Push the wing down as you tie it in here at the front, two or three turns. And you can see the wing sits low as it does on the natural insect and gives a more or less perfect profile. Just tie down the rest for security and make a dubbing loop. It doesn't have to be long like that and move the thread forward to the hook eye. Just leave the dubbing loop for now. I'm going to make the, the forward part of the fly with uh, using CDC, but you could, uh, you could use uh, just a normal hackle if you want to. I'll start by removing these lower fibers, place the feather on the table clamp, and I do the same 
on the other feather and just stroke back the fibers so they stick out at about 90 degrees as much as they can on a CDC feather and place them with the butt ends pointing in opposite directions and push the feathers down the clamp like this trim off and trim off and now grab the fibers in the clamp release the table clamp like that and cut off the stem like that grab your dubbing wheel attach it to the loop and insert the CDC carefully release the clamp spin the loop and I like to grab it with my hackle pliers but you can also just use the, the dubbing spinner. Now I just wind on this CDC as if it was a hackle stroke back between every turn. Try to make touching turns and if you're lucky you will have the right amount of CDC as I did there. A single turn and then I release the dubbing spinner. I double back the, the loop, secure it with three or four turns, cut it off and finish the fly with a whip finish. Tighten the knot, remove the thread and that's the Pro Cat is done. If you want to, you can tie in antenna uh, before spinning the, the CDC and making the thorax, but I think it really doesn't matter. If you have a few fibers that you think are too long, just grab them and pull them off uh, between a finger and a nail. But remember that caddis also have fairly long legs, so uh, a fairly long CDC is fine. Just one fiber there that annoys me. That's it, ProCat is done.